For some time now, we have highlighted the poor state of roads across the country, which has been blamed on no funding from government. However, recently, government through the Ministry of Finance directed that 1 billion shillings be given to districts for road maintenance across the country to resolve a lot of problems. According to district chairpersons, this money is insufficient to deal with the much needed broad works. The money we are getting is far below because a standard kilometer road under Uganda National Roads Authority, UNRWA, is at 70 million shillings per kilometer. So you have given us 1 billion shillings. That means we will maintain less than 20 kilometers. What I would call upon government is to look at the uniqueness within the cities. Because when it rains, for instance, you can see roads giving away and getting challenges of, of many potholes because of flooding. Uh, only one road, the district priority road, Ruebisengo, through Butungama to Kanara Sabukanto on Lake Albert on the border with DRC. That road is 32 kilometers. So if we are to rehabilitate it, because for us, maintenance does not apply. Um, let's see how it goes on this year. It's one billion plus the money they had in some cases, 300, 400, 600. Let's see how it works out. Then we can always, as government, um, consider whether to add, but I know that for now, in the budget framework paper, we are maintaining the one billion even for next financial year. Many of the roadworks have of late been put on hold by the Minister of Works and Transport due to the ongoing rains. However, the Minister of Local Government, Rafael Majezi, says the works should resume next year. In January, Feb, I expect all the local governments to move strongly even um, mid to December, as the weather gets better. The district chairpersons have also highlighted the lack of cars to help them in monitoring government programs. Back it internally because they gave an example of Minister of Agriculture and the Honorable St. Pija. Every district has an agricultural vehicle, an extension vehicle, and nine motorcycles. So we, it was good from, I think, the, the Norwegian government. We can also lobby as local governments from these partners. We have many programs running under World Bank and the Islamic Development Bank. These people can support us to monitor the projects they are doing now. The issue of low absorption of funds by the districts to implement government programs has also been highlighted by the stakeholders. Where you have people who don't know their roles and, and responsibilities, they are making mistakes. And, uh, and you know, it's, uh, local governments is not just a simple thing. There are rules and regulations of using taxpayers' money. So where they don't understand, it takes time to actually go through like a procurement process and then, and then money swept back at the center. Raymond Tamale, NTV. But then with us, you know, as a